Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. As you might can tell, it's a little chilly here in the outdoor kitchen today. So we're going to do some comfort food for you that's going to warm your body and your soul. So stay tuned. <music> Going to make some comfort food today and this is going to be chicken with broccoli and cauliflower and i've got most of the ingredients already out here on the table it's like 35 degrees out here this afternoon you may be able to see my breath coming out and it's been that way all day it's just nasty so in this kind of weather i really like to make some good warm comfort food so we're going to do this in a dutch oven it's only going to take about 30 minutes We'll show you how. Day, just for fun, decided we'd do this over on the camp ring. And uh, I've got things preheating over here. Got the lid. We actually put a little more season on them, just kind of helping that get set. Been burning this fire with some hardwood for about an hour. Believe me, whew, that joker feels good right now. I've got my tripod set up with a uh, an old fashioned trammel. Uh, my one of my subscribers, Chad, made this for me on his forge a few years ago, and I'll be showing you how that works as we go along. But it's a very old-fashioned design, and it still works as good now as it did 150, 200 years ago. But we had a nice bed of coals there. So let me go show you the ingredients you're going to need next. All right, so here are the ingredients you're going to need. I got a whole head of broccoli. Just picked this out of our garden, as well as this cauliflower whole head of cauliflower uh, that is a beautiful one right there like I said that that just got picked uh, like an hour ago it's gonna be delicious seasonings got black perry black uh, black perry we got black pepper got some rosemary garlic a little paprika some kosher salt some Seminole Swamp seasoning uh, optional ingredient I have a little bit of olive oil I have four chicken thighs with the skin on that have been deboned and cut up into chunks. I have some Campbell's cream of chicken soup, a little bit whipping cream, and uh, some shredded cheese of your choice. I'm going to use what we got. Triple cheddar and a little parmesan. And you're going to see this is going to go together really quick. Okay, so if you want to do this at camp, save yourself some time. Go ahead and pre-prepare this part in put it in a ziploc bag throw it into ice in your cooler it's going to be fine and the longer it sits in that seasoning the more of the seasoning is going to get soaked in we're here tonight we're not camping but we're going to go ahead and do this step first so it has more time to actually take up some of the season i'm going to start with our favorite season it's always seminal swamp season I'm all, if you look down in the description box below, you find a link to buy that online. All right, we're going to go with a little garlic. I like pretty strong on garlic on these. It's about a teaspoon. A little rosemary, just for the savoriness. Okay, black pepper. Definitely want to hit it up on the black pepper. Up on the other side, so I can actually get some out. Here we go, good amount of black pepper. Um, kosher sea salt, of course, it's going to help bring out. Remember, this these flavors are going to get diluted in the final dish. So, go ahead and liberal liberally. This is some smoked uh, paprika. All right, I'm going to go ahead, toss them all around, and get them very well coated with the seasoning and that salt that we put in there will actually start pulling some of the moisture from the meat and I think it helps to get that season down into it real good. So at this point we're just going to let it kind of marry all up right with that seasoning.
two tablespoons of olive oil. Push that oil around just a little bit in the pot. Lean in just a little bit because my bale is bent. I need to try to correct that one these days and it would hang a lot better on this tripod. But let's go ahead carefully start putting in our chicken. It just got really nice and hot already and that's what we want. Gonna do this in 30 minutes. Gonna need some heat. Now, absolutely guys, you could do this exact same dish. If it's too cold where you are right now, or if you don't have this particular setup, you do this on your Dutch oven table with charcoal. You could do this in the house on your stove with your flat bottom Dutch oven. Okay, time to uh, prep our veg. I have my uh, Dow Strong vegetable slicing knife right here. If you'd like to check out the Dow Strong knife uh, product line, please see the um, link in the description below. And if you use that link to go over there and look at Dow Strong and you decide you want to purchase one of their knives, no promo code needed. Whatever you buy, you're going to get an automatic 10% discount courtesy of Dow Strong and the Backwoods Gourmet. So, I encourage you guys to go over and look at all the knives that I've gotten from them I've really loved so far and um, I don't expect that to change so I got my cauliflower stem pulled out I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda quarter it then eighth it and yeah about quarters and eighths I'm not gonna get crazy about it it's all gonna get nice and soft you got these particularly big pieces go ahead and cut them down a little further broccoli same way this one here was getting ready to bolt should be really easy to separate all the individual flowerettes for the most part that one we might need to split again it's going to be a short cook time but we want to have some crunch still left in these guys so now that I've ate those cauliflowers, they're making very easy to break those down into flowerettes also. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and clean up the mess. We'll have this ready to go as soon as our chicken's brown. All right, I'll go. Got a nice sizzle going on. Give it a nice stir. Got a little flame coming off that one side, so it'll be a little hotter over there. And if you feel it's not going fast enough, I think it's going about right right now. You could always lower this trammel two inches and get your pot closer to the fire. But I don't want to get it too hot right now. It looks like it's picking up a really nice brownness on the chicken right now. Chicken's looking really good. Got some really nice color on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and carefully start putting in the broccoli and cauliflower. I'm just going to throw it right in there. Pot is fairly warm right now, but this cauliflower and broccoli is pretty cold. So what we're going to do is now. Go ahead and take in, bring over our lid, and put that right on top. And that's going to capture that heat and steam and steam those veggies. All right, let's go ahead and prepare our sauce. I have our cream of chicken soup. I like to just stab the bottom of the can with my knife and let it come out just like that. Done deal. Now we're going to do this in a measured 
that's probably about three four tablespoons of the cream and it's cold out here tonight so it's going to take a little bit of mixing to get this all to come together but we're kind of looking for the consistency of a thin gravy you see that still looks a little thick go ahead in with a little more that's going to depend on your brand that was Campbell's how much cream you have to put in there all right still look thick and this is whipping cream that I'm putting in here so it's not gonna thin it down as much as if you use whole milk it'll thin it down real quicker and you can always add a little bit of water now those broccoli and cauliflower are going to produce a lot of moisture in the pot so we'll go right there right now and we can adjust it a little bit uh, later with some water if we need to so let's go in and check on them again I've already changed them or flipped them over twice I'm gonna do it a third time and that's helping with that cauliflower stuff pick up some of those beautiful juices from down in the bottom of the pot a little bit of the color also so now we're just going to go ahead put in our cream of mushroom I mean cream of chicken and cream sauce try to spread that out as evenly as we can been about five or six minutes since we put the sauce in I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off of the trammel and set it right over here next to the fire ring I'm gonna put the cheese in and bring some coals over on top yeah that's looking good by the minute let's go ahead and give this a try it's really hot guys mm. perfect compliment the cream of chicken soup with the cream the broccoli the cauliflower all comes together really well in this dish hope you guys will try it again this is another one of the one of those 30 minute dishes that anybody can start now dutch oven cooking can do 
So if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there. To subscribe to our channel, you can do it right over there for another great Backwoods Gourmet video It's going to be up there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.